Anthony, Salt Lake City, you're on the Michael Medved Show Conspiracy Day. Yes. Hi, Michael. It's a privilege to be on your show. Thank you, sir. Um, I am an ex-Mormon, and I was curious how you felt or if you knew much about the Mormon conspiracy to take over the government. Um, <clears throat> I know it does sound a little odd, but uh, the more... It, it doesn't more... sound odd. It just sounds uh, uh, slanderous and untrue. Oh, well, I kind of looked into it, and the reason I have come up with this theory is that uh, Senator Harry Reid and the Attorney General for Utah, Mark Shirtless, uh, are kind of doing a witch hunt for the polygamous leaders and kind of doing a roundup to basically exterminate them. And I feel that with Mitt Romney in place of possibly becoming the vice president um, and McCain being at an older age, I, I don't know. I just kind of feel like the, everything's in kind of the motion of the Mormons are trying to take over the government. Okay, is the best that you can do Harry Reid? I mean, I think most Mormons that I know are embarrassed by Harry Reid. They feel about Harry Reid the sort of the same way I feel as a Jew about Barbara Boxer. I mean, she doesn't represent my religion. She doesn't represent me. And I think most Mormons don't really have a, the tremendous amount of pride in, in uh, Senator Reid. So, I, you see, the, the point about this is I think there is a Mormon conspiracy, and I think it's powerful and I think it's intense. It's a conspiracy to do good. It's a conspiracy to try to help people. It's a conspiracy to try to build nice communities and strong families. And I, I don't really understand mm -hmm. why there is so much... Now, you say you're an ex-Mormon. I am. But do you acknowledge that when you were a member of the Church of Jesus Christ Latter-day Saints, that there were just a tremendous number of kind, good, generous people who were part of that church? Um, yes and no. Um, I, I'm sure it's just like any other organize, organized religion. You're going to have really sincere people, and you're going to have uh, people who really don't give a hoot. They're just there because it's a social organization right you know? that, that's true however in terms of so, some of the charitable resources and the commitment that young mormons make I, it seems to me that that kind of conspiracy a conspiracy to promote traditional morality to promote responsibility among young people to promote marriage that's the kind of conspiracy we need more of in this greatest nation we'll be right back